Today I'm going to show you how to connect an audio mixer like this one to a computer. This is the Behringer Xenix 802 8 input 2 bus mixer. Coming up, roll the intro. Hey name tags and welcome, this is Ash from here, my tech helping you go from newbie to techie. I bought this mixer about a year and a half ago, but I've barely used it and it turns out this is kind of an overkill for me. Now this mixer is an entry level, it's really good for its price range, but it's no way a professional tool because I do have some comments from some people that it has a bit of noise when it comes to producing high quality audio. But as an entry level budget mixer, which is also probably an interface, an audio interface, although I'm not sure, I think audio interfaces are meant to have USB ports, not so sure about that one. But this is the non-USB version. There is a Q802, which is the USB version. We're not talking about that one because that's pretty simple to connect to a computer. You just plug in the USB. Anyway, the reason I bought that was because I needed Phantom Power for this Audio Technica 80 2020 because I bought that as a combination with a Zoom H1 recorder and a mic stand all for £80. I wasn't going to pass this opportunity, but because the Phantom Powers were coming close to about almost 25 to 30 pounds and this cost me 45 pounds on amazon currently it's retailing new i think about 54 pounds link below it's going to be an amazon link affiliate but you know i thought i'd be using it and future proof myself but it turns out it's an overkill for me anyway when i was trying to hook it up to a computer i had a lot of trouble because i had no idea how to do this not having a usb of course by the way i am not speaking into the audio technica right now i'm speaking into the boya bym one for convenience but i will be using this to hook up to this mixer to hook up to a computer and we're going to test the sound hopefully okay so the main cable you're going to need to connect the mixer to a computer is going to be this bad boy. Now, this is a standard 3.5 millimeter jack on one end. This is stereo and it splits into two mono one quarter inch or 6.35 millimeter cable. Now, the red one is for the right and the black one is for the left. I'm going to show you how to do that. Now, don't be scared with all the knobs if you're a noob like myself. They're not as bad as you think. These are the two XLR input for the microphone and we're going to plug in the XLR cable for the AT2020 on the first channel, okay? Um, I've left all the other knobs on kind of neutral or zero because I don't know how to manipulate them, right? And uh, now there are two outs here. So these are the two we're concerned. You could use either one. I'm going to use the main out and use the red jack for the R right side and the black for the left, okay? And you're gonna take the other end and uh, today we're gonna to use a laptop, but you can use any computer which has got a, a similar microphone input. You need to look for the microphone input of your computer if it's a desktop and plug that end into the microphone input, which is the pink one usually, okay? And uh, that's kind of it. now. Make sure you power your Behringer, obviously, because it ain't going to be good without power. And uh, for this one, I need the phantom power. So I'm press this to activate the phantom power. And Bob's your uncle. Okay, now for a sound test. I'm actually now speaking into the AT2020, but also from the Boya. Yeah? So I'm going to switch between the two to give you a uh, difference, okay? Now, I use Audacity to record this and uh, you could use any other software you wish also make sure when you go to your computer that you select the right microphone input which may be different especially i've got a laptop and you may have selected the uh, built-in microphone so you know, just need to make sure that you select the right microphone so we're now um, speaking into the 80 20 20 i've got the gain level about 20 decimal plus and uh, this is recording through um, audacity now I'm going to switch back to the Boya BYM1. You can see what the difference is. If you really want to uh, see better difference, you need to use a decent headphone to listen for the audio. But if you want to know how to put some effects in audio using Audacity, I have an upcoming tutorial for this. Although do bear in mind, I'm not an audio field professional, but there are ways that you can improve your audio. Now, if you want to monitor your audio directly from the mixer, you're going to need to get a headphone 
and uh, you're going to need to get an adapter. This is a 3.5 to 6.35 millimeter uh, adapter. This is the TRS version, tip ring sleeve, okay? I do have a TS version, but it's not working or it's not compatible, I'm not sure. So just plug it in, put your headphone jack into the one end and stick that onto the phone's port of your mixer that way you can monitor live your audio which i'm hearing into my headphone right now if not you're gonna have to plug this into your normal port the headphone port of your laptop but that way you won't be able to monitor live unfortunately you're only going to be able to hear once you record the audio from the laptop and you play that back Okay guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this was easy for you to follow. Now, uh, I'm not recommending that you go and buy this, but I think if you're looking for a mixer slash audio interface, this is quite a decent entry level one. It will do the job, but there are more uh, modern USB versions and in other mix and models, like for example, uh, the Focusrite range, which are quite decent as well. They're a bit less bulky as well. So I actually probably gonna sell this Behringer because this is a way of an overkill for me. I don't need this. I might even just consider getting myself an upgraded uh, field recorder that allows me to input more than one microphone. Okay, so thank you for watching. You know what to do down below. Give me a like, comment and share this video. And remember to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. As always, it was a pleasure talking to you. This was Ash from Himai Tech, helping you go from newbie to techie. Until next time, peace out.